Welcome to Story Time. I am Reading Buddy. We bring you a story every week. How did you celebrate the first day of the new year yesterday? Reading Buddy celebrated by reflecting on what I learned in 2022. In today's story, jungle animals celebrate the new year by doing fun sports. But a squirrel gets injured. What will happen next? Let the reading buddy read you this story called "An Exciting New Year's Day in Jungle Town," written by Billa Mary Crocker. Oh, don't forget to stay until the very end and learn a Chinese phrase with reading buddy. Ready? Let's get started. The first of January dawned bright and clear, much to the gratification of the inhabitants of Jungle Town. <laughs> For King Leo had decreed that various sporting contests should take place on Monkey Hill. <laughs> There were to be foot races on skis and snowshoes, snowball encounters. And the toboggan races. In fact, almost every kind of winter sport was to be indulged in, with the exception of skating. For the king was averse to that amusement, <laughs> and never included it in his entertainments. All the animals, from the very big bear down to the little squirrel. Ever since the day for the sports had been set, had looked forward to it with eager anticipation and joy, and had worked busily getting things in readiness. For much was accomplished before the eventful day arrived. First, there had to be a space cleared for the spectators. <coughs> Hey! A special tract set aside for the king and his friends. <laughs> Then the making of a fine slide for the tobogganers, and the marking of the bounds for the foot races. Moreover, each family provided a full lunch basket, so the parents and the children were also busy planning what they should cook. Finally, when the day came, all was ready. Most families had even packed the food the day before. So it happened that quite early in the morning, a large crowd had gathered on Monkey Hill. Not only all the citizens of Jungle Town itself and their families were there, but also animals. Whose homes were many miles away, had come to see the fun. Thus, when one o'clock, the hour set for the races to commence, came, the hill was simply alive with elephants, giraffes, bears, wolves. Foxes, monkeys, possums, raccoons, squirrels, and many other animals, besides the relatives of the king, lions, tigers, and leopards. Then the jolly good time began, and what a glorious afternoon they all had! The ski race between the bears and the squirrels came first. Three, two, one. It was very exciting, for 
Although the squirrels were much smaller than the bears, they were so much lighter on their feet and could manage their skis better that they won the race. Woohoo! Next came the equally animated snowshoe race. Three, two, one. Between the elephants and the giraffes, the latter winning in the end. Woohoo! After the foot races were finished, there were snow fights between different parties. And then the time came for the toboggan races to begin. Three, two, one. They aroused even more excitement than any of the previous contests, but were also the cause of a serious accident. All went well until the last load of tobogganers, composed of monkeys, possums, and the squirrels, had started down the hill. Suddenly, as the toboggan was skimming along the slide at a rapid rate of speed, a screech was heard from behind. Out! And Jack Possum looked around to see a poor squirrel lying on the ground. Several yards back, seemingly senseless. Oh my goodness! The little fellow had been at the end. And when the toboggan gave a slight lurch, oh! as it passed over an uneven place in the slide, he lost his balance and fell backward. Oh! As soon as the accident had been discovered, the race was stopped, and a crowd gathered about him. For a time, some thought him dead. <laughs> However, when Sir Thomas Lyon, a cousin of the king and a very prominent physician in Jungle Town, reached his side, he found one leg broken, but said, The squirrel is not otherwise injured except temporarily stunned by the fall. Dr. Lion ordered him carried to the nearest house, <gasps> which happened to be that of two nice old bears. There, the doctor set his leg, and soon afterward, he regained consciousness. Uh -huh. Next, a search was made for his father and mother, but none of the squirrels present at the races claimed any relationship to him. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. In the course of a few days, he told the two old bears, I am a orphan and have come many miles to see the sporting contest. Now, these bears were very kind-hearted, and they felt very sorry for the little homeless creature, <laughs> and soon became very fond of him, and he of them. So, when the day came that he was able to go, they, all three, went to the jungle town court, and the bears legally adopted him. Yay! Yay! From that time on, Tommy Squirrel always had a very comfortable home and two dear friends in these old bears. <laughs> While they never ceased to be grateful that the toboggan accident, the day of the sporting contests, had been the means of their finding a very loving child. Wow! 
what a lovely story! Are you excited about the new year? In today's Chinese time, Reading Buddy is going to teach you how to say Happy New Year in Chinese. 新年快乐，新年快乐。Let's celebrate the new year by telling friends. 新年快乐 Happy New Year! Thanks for listening. Please support us by leaving a review and telling a friend about us this week.